and the like. What options are you considering? How will you uh, move ahead if the president continues to refuse to concede? Well, look, uh, access to classified information is, uh, is useful. Uh, but I'm not in a position to make any decisions on those issues anyway. There's one, as I said, one president at a time. And he will be president until January 20th. It would be nice to have it, but it's not critical. And uh, that's, uh, we're just going to proceed the way we have. We're going we're to do exactly what we'd be doing if he had conceded and said we've won, which we have. Uh, and so there's nothing really changing. But not ruling out legal action. No, I, I don't see a need for legal action, uh, quite frankly. I think the legal action is uh, you're seeing it uh, play out, the actions he's taking. Uh, and so far, there is no evidence of any of the assertions made by the president or Secretary of State Pompeo. <laughs> Secretary of State Pompeo. Sir, what do you say to the Americans that are anxious over the fact that President Trump has yet to concede and what that might mean for the country? Well, um, I just think it's an embarrassment. I think it will not help the president's legacy. I think that uh, I know from my discussions with foreign leaders thus far that they are hopeful that the United States democratic institutions are viewed once again as being strong and enduring. And, uh, but I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's all going to come to fruition on January 20th. And between now and then,